Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here and today I have a little bit of a rant but a solution, a fix to the rant that I have. Anyone who's been following this channel will know that I bought a Mac Mini a few months ago and had nothing but problems with it from the start. Problems with the Wi-Fi, problems with the USB. Now I've managed to find solutions to those and those are linked below. It seems to be a feature of the new Mac Minis as many things are features of what Apple do these days. I've been an Apple user for a long time. I don't want to get into a whole PC versus Apple debate, but the reason I primarily use Apple and I'm stuck with it is because of this little application here, which is Logic. I have been using Logic pretty much since day one when it was Notator. Years and years ago, probably before a lot of you were even born. Um, and I love Logic. I have used Digital Performer and I do use and I do teach Pro Tools, but for when it comes to composing and working fast, Logic is my tool and that's what kind of keeps me rooted in the Mac ecosystem. I have doubled with PCs, I have doubled with Reaper, I've doubled with many things, but I always end up coming back to Logic and the Mac and I have a lot of money invested in it. Since day one, I've been having a whole bunch of issues with logic as well, logic glitching and clicking. You know, this has got eight cores. What's the actual spec of this? This is the 3.2 gigahertz i7, 16 gig of RAM, SSD, hard drive, all the things that should make it super, super fast. Now, my problem is I have been working on a new album and really getting into creative flow and this has just been a pain in the ass. And the biggest problem has been even with one virtual instrument. In this case, Easy Drummer. One track of Easy Drummer and one track of audio, boom, we've got crackles and everything is going all over the place. Now, I've put my latency down to 64, which, you know, for something so low, it should be able to count. I could do this with my old, you can see it over here, my MacBook Pro um, from 2012, 13, somewhere around there, maybe even 11. You know, this is quite an old machine and it could do this in its sleep. Yes, you add in some more stuff and it starts to crackle and you have all these problems. So this has been really frustrating. I've done all the all old optimization tricks and I was still getting an issue. So what it turns out is it's basically down to my monitor resolution. So one of the fixes it would appear for audio glitching is to scale your monitor back down to uh, 1920 by 1080p. Once I did that, my CPU usage has uh, dropped off tremendously. So there is my CPU idle, not doing anything. We are currently in 1080. Of course, just using one core there. So let's see what happens when I change my resolution. So let's scale the resolution up there we go, so we're in kind of 2K mode now. Where is my disc one to go on? There it is, hope you can see that. Let's see what happens here. You can hear it glitching a little bit there. You hear the glitches as I move the screen around. Let's go up. Fantastic and um, full on CP usage. Let's go back to monitoring on just that track. No, we're getting glitching. Down to 1080. Move the screens about as I was. So there you have it, a, a possible solution. Not an ideal solution, I grant you. Um, what I have to do now is obviously when I am recording and composing tapes, I need the latency to be low. So I have to just go down the screen resolution. And then when I come to mixing, I can whack the buffer size up and use my monitor full scale. A little bit of a faff, but it appears that everything with this Mac Mini is a faff. Hope you found that useful. I've been Brucey and I will catch you later.